Okay. Yeah. Are we already? No, recording? don't do that pose. Okay, do, do a like different pose. Song? I don't like that. Like don't. I look like I'm tired. I'm bored. <laughs> Are you doing this a... is what I do on roller coasters. Like right when they start the picture, I act like I fell asleep. Like when it declined. Back here? Should I start back here? Stop doing poses. Just act natural. This one. No. No? People don't okay. people don't do that. Okay. Here? Put your hands on Got the Got it, you're good. Like I'm getting arrested. <laughs> getting frisked. Is this better? Yeah, you got it. So I should start now? You should start now. Okay. Hey guys. Welcome to the uh, electric starship. Um, we haven't done a video in a little bit, but we've had a lot of progress. This is our bar. We talked about it in the last one. I had cleared in the last video. We cleared some space, and uh, it's been installed. My wife and my kids, my brother and my friends, and just everybody has chipped in a little bit to uh, stain it and lacquer it up and seal it, and it looks amazing. I think I'm really, really excited about it. We're actually gonna. We left a little bit of groove in here, so we're gonna put tokens. All on this bad boy and resin, resin them in. And uh, I've had a lot of people donate tokens and I've bought some big stacks of tokens from a few folks and I wanna thank those people, they know who they are. Um, anyway, I think it's gonna look really, really great. We've got a couple other ideas for it, but uh, those will be down the road. We're just trying to open this thing up. Speaking of that, TABC, we're, we're still working with them, trying to get everything done. And uh, man, it's just a hoop, to, a lot of hoops to jump through. And, uh, but progress, uh, we haven't been told no yet, and that's almost the motto in this arcade is, uh, well, no one said no yet, so we just keep on moving forward. Uh, the one thing that we can't do yet is open up. Uh, we're still planning on June 5th being our opening date, but we haven't got word from the governor that arcades can open yet. We were lumped in with bowling alleys there for a while, and all of a sudden they were able to open, but arcades are still illegal. So, we've got a really cool clubhouse to hang out in for a little bit. Uh, and, and there's still lots and lots of things to do. <clears throat> anyway, I didn't want to bore you with all of that, but uh, I do want to thank Delden. Uh, he came by with Bob and, uh, and his channel's a nine pound hammer on YouTube and he posted a video when he came in and did a little small tour with us and they ended up getting us a lot of subscribers. Uh, a lot more than what we had, I should say. We still don't have a lot. Links down in the description. Links down in the description, absolutely. And uh, like and subscribe uh, if you could. Like this video, subscribe, and tell all your friends to subscribe. Uh, we'd love to get 100 subscribers and uh, eventually a lot more. But uh, I did want to thank him. Uh, I wanted to talk about a game today. Um, this is a game account in the early 90s, 92, 93. Uh, the rights were secured. It was the first sports game. Uh, that was licensed by the NBA, and uh, it became huge. This thing was, uh, in its original arcade run, it earned a billion dollars. You know, that's like three times what Jurassic Park earned back then. Um, amazing, amazing game. And to me, it's a top five game. Uh, it had tons of hidden characters and power-ups, uh, including big head mode. And some of you may know what game I'm talking about. And we're gonna make our way over there. But first, we organized our back area today, and I have a new tool cart. Uh, my wife found this on the side of the road, and my brother has outfitted it, and it's like uh, ready for the apocalypse. Uh, we like to, what's the word that I can't say? Oh, anthropomorphize inanimate objects. Anthropomorphize yeah, you inanimate got it. objects. It happens in the electric starship. There's something magical here that makes simple tools have a name. This one's name, and I got a little artwork there. This is Carol Baskets. So, <laughs> Carol Baskets has all the tools that you need in an arcade. Now, one of the tools that people just scream if you don't have, this is a multimeter. I actually used it today on Mad Planets. It didn't come on, and I went into behind it, and I plugged in, and sure enough, I had a power supply that went out, and just swapped the power supply, and it came right back on. So you gotta have one of these in your arcade toolkit. If you don't have this, when you buy an arcade machine and you wanna work on it and have it in your house, if you don't have one of these, you are seriously in trouble. You're not going to have an arcade machine. Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> gonna have someone else come in and work on it and it's usually something super simple. I say that and 10 things are gonna break tomorrow that I can't fix, but it's a lot of times something very simple and if you just check, see if you have five volts going to your boards, a lot of times you, you can fix it pretty easy. So, Carol Baskets, I'm just gonna turn her around, let you see <laughs> in all its glory. Pick tools, TV tools, these are great for your monitors, so you don't stick a metal screwdriver back there and shock yourself. 
uh, one of these guys. So you want to, um, you know, pull that electricity out of the monitor uh, so you don't shock yourself there. Uh, although I've seen some people recently do some really cool stuff where they can just like grab that cup and not kill themselves. I don't advise that. I don't, not at all uh, do I advise that. Anyway, Carol Baskets, everyone. Let's give her a hand. It's beautiful, right? Anyway, we're gonna go talk, we're gonna go look at that game. That, uh, that game that came out in the early 90s. And as you may have guessed, it's NBA Jam. Now this NBA Jam, I think, is a very beautiful NBA Jam. When I got it, it was a horrible NBA Jam. It literally had a piece of wood mounted right here with two little bolts where they had put a flat screen on the outside of the game. I took that, it was just bolts, I spray painted, don't open dead inside, like in uh, Walking Dead, because it was just horrible. Um, everything, the wood was chipping off, no paint, all this artwork had completely faded to white. This side here, the red was gone, and uh, the orange had faded to white. So I did all new side art, it's got new T-mold in, it got a uh, new marquee, because that one was all broken and busted. Um, it didn't have a plastic cover of this, and someone had drilled a hole here. Um, I liked the artwork, the original artwork. It was still in really good shape other than that hole. So I put a fancy uh, flaming basketball sticker right over that bad boy after I, uh, I puttied it up. And then I put this uh, Lexan cover on top that perfectly matches it up. My wife's put new locks on it, and uh, I just think it came out really, really good. It looks like this machine looked in the early 90s when you walked into an arcade to play it. Now, in doing research for this video, we actually discovered a hidden game mode that I have never heard about and never seen before. So much so that me and my brother were talking about it, and he says, who's behind the tape, who's behind the camera right now, um, he goes, there's no way this is real. There's absolutely no way that this is real here. So, uh, we want to show you that. It actually is a real mode. So, step in here real quick. Tate is working the camera, but he's also going to jump in the game. So, you need to have two players to do this. So, you, we got a one-player game and a two-player game. And we're just going to go to no. So, the key here is you have to hold both joysticks down and hit all three buttons on each player. And you'll go into a hidden tank game. Now, a lot of people don't know about this. I didn't know about this tool today. So, we're going to try it out really quick and see if we can do it. We're just going to go in. We're going to pick uh, Seattle, because I always like to play as Sean Kemp. On the tonight's matchup screen, hold three buttons on both sides and the joysticks down. I'll hold both the joysticks since he's only got one hand. And here we go. We're going to try it out. Supersonic. All right. And it should work. So look at this. It is a hidden tank game. It's a lot like Battlezone, right? And you can shoot. You see me shoot these big squares, and I'm shooting these square tanks, the green tanks that are right around. So I just blew that one up. And you can hear the glass break on the, on the, uh, like when you're stuck in the game. I'm just killing these tanks. I've not been this good when I tried this earlier for this video. This has nothing to do with NBA Jam. It's just some, a hidden mode in the game. And, uh, man, I've stayed alive. Oh, you are dead. And then the game starts. Is that not amazing? Now, I didn't do anything. This is something the programmers put in this game. And I thought that was actually really cool. And this is running on hardware. This yeah, is yeah, this original is hardware. Regular, original hardware uh, that this game is running. And uh, let's see if I can get a sweet dive. We're playing the, the Timberwolves that had Christian Laker. Uh, he was the only college player on the Dream Team in 1992 if you want another, a little, another little weird tidbit. Uh, and then my favorite part is the big windmill dunks, right? So, uh, this is an amazing game, folks, and we hope to open soon so you can come play it here at the Electric Starship. Um, we'll walk around over here just a little bit. We've also put out the tables. Uh, we're going to be doing the social distancing. We're trying to keep everything six feet apart for you again when we finally open. Uh, but right now, we're still thinking June 5th. Uh, I'm just hoping we hear something from the government here pretty soon. Uh, maybe the governor of Texas will see this and say, man, we got to open our caves, man. This place is sweet. So, anyway, I don't know about that, but I hope so. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody that subscribed and supported us and uh and we're looking forward to opening here in Halton City pretty soon. Um,
remember to like this video if you can and subscribe to it. And uh, we really appreciate everything and appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.